Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, I have a drone with me today that we haven't flown in a while. All this talk about mini drones. I haven't seen much about this guy in a long time. It is the uh, Femi X8 Mini. Uh, so, you know, with all the talk about the, uh, the DJI Mini 3 and, and the Autel Nano Plus, I haven't flown this guy in a long time, so I thought I would uh, put it up in the air and uh, check it out and, you know, let's just see how it flies. Again, haven't flown it in a long time. We'll look at video quality, etc. Again, it's about 7.30 in the evening, so the sun is getting pretty low in the sky, so it's going to be looking into the sun one direction and have the sun at its back the other. So uh, let's quit messing around and let's get this bird in the air. So we had a little uh, firmware update, so I'm getting that done right now. So uh, it's taken a little bit, never fails, right? I should have fired it up before I left the house. Okie dokie, uh, so we've got the uh, firmware updated and I just did a compass calibration. Let's go ahead and look at that, uh, 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 the, the firmware version, just for your information. There we go, flight control 1024C, camera 215B, so. That's where we're at with firmware. Uh, we are shooting in 4K, 30 frames per second. Again, I did a compass calibration, so we should be ready to go. We're down to 87% battery, that's okay. This is just gonna be a quick flight. Uh, let's go ahead, uh, let's see, I wanna look at one more thing. Yeah, precision landing is on, sport mode is off. Okay, uh, God, I meant to look at the uh, return to home height as well. Whoop. Return to home height, 32, yeah, 35 meters, that's plenty. Okay, sorry about all this messing around. Let's go ahead and start recording. So we are recording. Let's, uh, let's do an auto takeoff. It's been a while since I've flown this drone, so. And there she goes, there's the little guy. It's going a ways up in the air. How high are we going here? Uh, it's about four meters in the air, but it's holding pretty good. So no circular motion or anything. So let's bring it down here and, and let's uh, take a look at it with the camera. So now you see it kind of moving around a little bit, but not too bad. So uh, let's see if we can bring it in here here just a little bit and rock it back and forth so you can see that gimbal in action you know when you're used to a DJI drone uh, to see another drone like this that's just it's just not as stable there's just no two ways about it it moves around a little bit more uh, let's drop that camera down I don't see any reason why we can't do our uh, our drone here so let's drop that camera down a little bit and uh, we're in normal mode, uh, reverse and up now. Yeah, so pretty good. It's doing just fine. Yeah, I'm hitting that up stick pretty hard. Uh, yeah, we're about, get it up about 40 meters. That's pretty good. I think that's above our uh, famous cell phone tower over here. Let's pick that camera up and uh, get to the rule of thirds. Nice flat horizon, that's, uh, that's always w a welcome thing and we're looking right into the sun. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and go to the other end of the park here, or of the uh, schoolyard here and, uh, and, and so we can turn around and get the sun behind us. Uh, but just kinda wanna show you how this, how this guy looks. Let's, uh, let's hit full throttle now, this is in normal mode and see how fast, yeah, see this is a quick little drone. Look at that, we're over 16 meters per second and that's in normal mode. <laughs> As I recall, I remember this guy being a pretty sporty little drone. Okay, let's kinda, let's see if we can kinda move around here, get the, uh, the other way and uh, we'll see what we can do uh, going the other direction. See if we can get that same speed up. There's not a lot of wind, a little bit of wind, but not too much. So yeah, I'm just kind of moving it around here, getting us pointed the other direction. And we'll get kind of get uh, over the top of the uh, school buildings here and, and we'll move back this way. And let's see what we get for speed. So uh, 
Yeah, and it kind of moved sideways. That was an inadvertent move. That was not on the controls there. When you saw it move to the right, that was not on the controls. And now it's in fail-safe return, it says. Not sure why. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to get out of that. Okay, I stopped that. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I don't. That was that was kind of odd. We must we must have lost signal there for a second. Maybe that's what I missed there. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's go uh, full stick forward, and uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, and I'm seeing a little orange on the the uh, FPV signal there. Uh, and let's see how fast it'll go this way. Yeah, not as fast. So clearly, we had the wind at our back going that other direction. Nine meters per second, that's pretty good. And the drone is flying above us. 10 meters per second. Yeah, so we definitely had the wind at our back. I'm watching the drone above me though. It's, it's flying along pretty good. Let's, uh, let's go across the street here and, uh, and get a look at uh, uh, over the top of uh, Discovery Elementary here. And this is a look that I often get because it's just kind of interesting. You've got, uh, you've got things off in the distance and you have uh, things close up here. You've got those play structures with, that are kind of colorful. Then you've got the mountains off in the distance and then, uh, you know, the green trees in the foreground. So I think that always makes an, an interesting shot to, uh, to check the drone out. 17 satellites at sand, so that's pretty good. I'm telling you, this FPV is looking really good. What I see on the screen here looks great. I mean, I mean, nice flat horizon. So, like I said, it's uh, it's it's been a while since I've flown this guy, and I remember it did it did pretty good before. And by the way, this was my fourth one. I had a lot of trouble with them when I first got it. So let's go ahead and throw it into sport mode just for the fun of it. So you do that inside the app here, and I'm going to click sport mode on. And it says 18 meters per second. So we know the king of speed of the mini drones. So let's go. And this should have the wind at its back. I'm going to drop that camera down just a little. And let's go full tilt forward. And let's see how fast this guy will get up to getting to the other end here. And look at that, 18 and a half meters per second. Holy cow. Yeah, a good solid 18. So that's, you know, that's around... 40 miles an hour there and I see it kicking the gimbal down a little bit which it's going to at those kind of speeds in sport mode you better expect that so that's not uh, that's not a knock on the drone at all so let's do the same thing let's go the other way and let's uh, let's see uh, let's see how fast we can get it up to and again what I'm what I'm telling you is uh, in uh, in sport mode you are going to get some gimbal movement, particularly, you know, this drone, uh, you know, it moved up to a pretty high speed there, uh, over a, about 18 and a half meters per second, I think I saw there at one point. So we're going to leave that gimbal in that position that it's in now and full stick forward. And let's see how fast we can get it going this way. And it's not messing around. Yeah, not quite as fast. So probably about the same as it did in normal mode. I don't think it was much faster than that. 11 meters per second. That's pretty good. You know, the wind, it must, the wind must be, yeah, there's, we're getting up to 13 meters per second or close to it. Okay, easing off the stick there. Let's go back in and go take uh, sport mode off. And uh, let's bring the guy back around here and uh, let's see if we can uh, maybe just do some moves with it here. I, you know, one of my, uh, anybody that follows my channel knows that one of my favorite things to do is orbit this uh, cell phone tower here. So uh, let's see if we can get centered up on this guy. And again, I am in just r normal mode here, regular speed mode, so... Let's get centered up on it, and let's see if I can. Uh, let's see if I can do. I'm going I'm to do an orbit to the uh, to the drone's right, and this is a manual orbit here, folks. Let's see if we can make it happen. Yeah, so so the yaw is a little quicker than the sideways speed, but 
Yeah, not too bad. We're getting there. Yeah, we're keeping it pretty much in the center. The other thing that I'm doing, uh, the reason that I wanted to get out and fly today is I've got the uh, the new DJI microphone system. So this is the first time I've used it. So I figured this would be a good opportunity uh, to hook it up to my GoPro and give it a try. So that worked out pretty good. Let's uh, Let's see if we can go over the top of the cell phone tower here and get a look at it. See if I can drop the gimbal as we move forward. Move slowly over the top of it and see if we can get a look at it. See if there's any birds nests up there. Well, I said slowly and then I kind of uh, sped up there a little bit. There, I'm watching the drone. And the, you know what's funny is it looks really close when you're looking at this video, but I'm looking up at the drone and the cell phone tower, and it's way above it. It just looks closer than it is. So I'm going to go straight 90 degrees down with the camera, and let's see if we can get right over the top of it. And a little bit more. There we go. Kind of moves back. So this, you know, this is kind of an illustration. Uh, you know, I'm watching the drone up in the air there. Uh, again, you know, this little Femi drone, it moves around a little bit. It's not quite as steady as what uh, we'd be uh, used to with a DJI drone. Let me see if I can get, I want to see if I can get centered right up on it. Yeah, and the, I think the, the gimbal moved around there just a little bit. Yeah, it did. So... Let's go forward just a little more. It's 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 hard. It's making it difficult for me to get you right in the center of it. Uh, it. It just keeps moving back as I as I move over the top of it. It moves back. So I don't know if the wind is blowing it around or what. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise and circle. This is one of my favorite moves, and it's all on the left stick. And let's see if we can kind of. Slowly go straight up and do a little uh, circle here. I always think that's a kind of a cool move. And as you as you go, you try and go a little bit faster in all directions. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, let's stop right there. What we're down to 44% battery, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, you know, I wonder, uh, it's been a while since I have done any of the automated flight modes with this guy. <coughs> Pardon me. I've got the drone a ways up there. Let's bring it down and in a little bit. And let's see what else, what other tricks can we do with this guy? So we're down to 42% battery. So let me take a look here. Uh, we could actually, I wonder, let's, I haven't, it's been so long since I've flown this drone. There's, there's a bunch of things that uh, that I can't remember how to use them. So uh, SAR mode, I know I remember uh, it'll show your coordinates and it brings zoom up too. So it's just a digital zoom, but uh, I can use the slider on the left side of the screen here to zoom. So let's see if we can zoom in on me here, maybe. Yeah, there it is. I mean, it's not like it's super smooth. But you know what? It's there. That's me moving it over. And it'll go up to three times digital zoom. So we'll see how that looks on the SD card. Uh, but then you also look right above me there. It gives you the uh, GPS coordinates. So that's what they mean by uh, search and rescue mode. So that you could get the coordinates and you can zoom in on something. So let's get out of that. We're, we're clicking out of that. Let's go back into that little guy there. And uh, how about fixed wing mode? So fixed wing mode, uh, yeah, let's see. Well, when, when it's at speed is up to three meters per second and the height is five meters for three seconds. So, so 
what I believe it'll do here, so let's, let's get up higher, yeah. So I can see already, it's gonna fly like an airplane. So when you see it tilting around there, that's not the gimbal, it's just locking the gimbal in place. So let's fly it around here. Yeah, and it says it entered fixed wing mode, so. We should, yeah, so we'll get that tilt, just like you would in an airplane, so more like an FPV drone. Uh, so that's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, been a while since I've done that with this guy. Exit, short press, and auto, uh, let's see. Yeah. Over the top of the cell phone tower. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're at 32% battery. I'm going to get out of fixed wing mode. Exit fixed wing mode. And uh, let's just uh, do another flight out here. Uh, let's go out to the corner over here, and then let's throw this guy into uh, return to home. It does have precision landing, although we didn't use a, uh, a landing pad. So, But let's, uh, let's go ahead and kick it into return to home and just see how she does. So there we go. It, man, it took that command immediately. 29% battery. We've been recording for about 14 and a half minutes, but remember we used this, uh, uh, yeah, and it's given us that low battery warning. And, you know, pay attention here. Looks like we're going to go right by the cell phone tower. Uh, you know, you want to make sure you're above uh, things like that, and we're probably pretty close to the height of that thing, but we're going to go right by it. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, when it got down below 30%, it's selling a slow battery. So, uh, and we did the, the firmware update on this battery. So we didn't have a full battery when we started. And let's see how close it gets to us here. It's coming in. Well, yeah, it's not seeing a landing pad, which we didn't expect it to. It's, uh, it's going to land. I'm going to move the camera kind of over here because it's going to kind of land on the corner here. It's a little bit of a slope there, but it'll be all right. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, I'm going to say that's gonna, it's going to be within uh, five feet of the, uh, of the landing pad of where it took off from. I can't remember if this guy picks up the camera automatically or not, but I'm going to do it. So bringing that camera up and down she comes. And yeah, you're seeing that on the GoPro. Yeah, and she shut right down. Uh, one of the cool things that Femi does is it stops recording when you land. That way you don't corrupt a, a video file. So. Let me, uh, let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay guys, the uh, little Phoebe X8 Mini. Uh, nothing special about this flight. I just wanted to fly it because I haven't flown it in a long time. And you know what? It did great. Uh, we've proven that this is the fastest of the Mini drones. We had it up over uh, 18 and a half meters per second. Of course, it had the wind at its back, but nonetheless, uh, that is by far the fastest of the mini drones. There's no question about it. Uh, the drone flew fine. It handles good. I mean, you saw we did the orbit around the cell phone tower. Uh, I can tell you the video on the FPV looked good. I am anxious to get the SD card and, and, uh, and take a look at it and see how it does. As I recall, sometimes you would get a little micro shake in the gimbal once in a while with this thing, but I haven't seen it yet, so, so I'm not going to say that from this flight. Uh, so we didn't have a whole lot of battery because we did a firmware update. Uh, however, uh, we did have time to try out fixed wing, uh, fixed wing mode and we tried out search and rescue mode and tried out the, uh, the digital zoom that this little guy provides. Uh, yeah, and you just got to kind of look at the, uh, at the video quality of it. It, I can tell you it, it flies great, uh, for the price, I think, uh, when I bought this, it was like $319. I think it's a little bit more than that now. I think you can commonly pick this guy up for $350. bucks. i am going to say that's a pretty good buy for, for a pretty de decent little drone. Now, the only caveat I'm going to throw out there is Femi does have quality issues from time to time. 
This is my fourth one. I went through three of them before I got one that worked great. Now, of course, that was early on. It's when they were first starting to build them. So perhaps the ones now are, are better. I don't know that. I just wanted to tell you about my experience. Uh, but again, if you can buy one of these for 350 bucks, shoots in 4K 30 frames per second, has uh, active track, uh, has a, a number of intelligent flight modes. There you go. Everything that everybody's asking for in a mini drone. It does not have obstacle avoidance. It has downward sensors, but does not have any front facing or rear facing sensors, etc. So if you use the tracking modes, be careful because you can walk the drone right into something. It won't know that it's there. Uh, so anyway, that's about it for it's about, uh, yeah, it's just right about 8 p.m. now. So and the sun is uh, is pretty low on the horizon. As you can see, I'm just kind of squinting my eyes to see here. And again, I'm anxious to try. I've got the uh, the DJI mic system hook, hooked up to my uh, GoPro. So I'm anxious to see uh, how the sound quality is on this one as well. Uh, I can tell you this mic system is pretty easy to use and I and I like it so far. But this is the first time uh, anyway. Enough jibber jabber. That's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I so appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, of course, we'll see you on the next one. And I'm thinking the next one, you know, you never know, will probably be that, uh, that DJI uh, Mini 3 Pro again. All right, see you guys later. Bye.